and let us all that we can to build a better future. AOC is a crying. AOC is a crying. Why is she crying? Is it because the kids are still in cages? The DNC establishment is rigging the 2024 primary. Is it because people don't have health care? Is it because student debt is still crippling millions of Americans? Is it because there's a ridiculous war happening in Ukraine? Hell, so much money for the military industrial complex. Is she a crying because the people who caused the 2008 economic collapse are still out there dancing and swinging along? Is she a crying because she can't make it to the next Met Gala event with a tax of rich dress? No. I'm willing to bet right now she's a crying. She is probably a crying on the inside. Tucker Carlson's back. He makes a statement. I said this on the show, too. I said this even on Larry Sharp's show. Tucker Carlson's going to be fine. He's going to land on his feet. He's going to land on his feet. AOC saying the deep platform works. All right, well. Tucker Carlson, U.S. becoming a one-party state. Tucker Carlson has released a video tearing into the American news outlets in his first appearance since parting ways with Fox News. Fox News' stock is uh, fallen. Same thing like with uh, Bud Light, too. Boy, big brain move there, Fox News. And I brought this up on Larry Sharp's show, too. Fox News fired a lot of their heavy hitters, too. There was Bill O'Reilly at one point and Glenn Beck. And they were still able to land on their feet, but Tucker's show was different. And this is true. This isn't an opinion. This isn't just some random statement. This is a fact. Tucker's show, he had people of different political spectrums and points of view on a show, and he let his guests talk. And that's where I kind of take notes from him, a little bit of Joe Rogan, Jimmy Dore. Let your guests talk. Hear their perspective and point of view. You know, I mean, and the thing is, that's that's how you host a good show. And his audience, let's face it, most of Fox News audience is probably very conservative, Republican, right leaning, libertarian, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But when you hear voices like Tulsi Gabbard, Jimmy Dore, Dr. Cornell West and so many others, they realize that the two party system is a screwing people over. Adding more onto the stream, and again, this video has gone viral, and I will be playing it. In a clip shared to Twitter on Wednesday evening, the former Fox host delivered a monologue similar to those heard on his longtime show, Tucker Carlson Tonight, even posting the video to coincide with his previous time slot. Probably got more views than CNN or BSDNC. A little bit of shade thrown at Rachel Maddow. While he did not directly address the reported firing from Fox News earlier this week, Carlson launched into a scathing criticism of the mainstream media, saying most discussions on TV news shows are relevant and unbelievably stupid. Yeah, true. Very, very, very true. So here, instead, let's hear it from his voice himself. And again, as it stands right now, there's a lot of views on this. 46.1 million views. Don't believe me? There it is, right there. 46.1 million views. The video has gone viral. Good evening, it's Tucker Carlson. One of the first things you realize when you step outside the noise for a few days is how many genuinely nice people there are in this country, kind and decent people, people who really care about what's true, and a bunch of hilarious people also, a lot of those. It's got to be the majority of the population, even now. So that's heartening. The other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. They're completely irrelevant. They mean nothing. In five years, we won't even remember that we had them. Trust me, as someone who's participated. And yet at the same time, and this is the amazing thing, the undeniably big topics, the ones that will define our future, get virtually no discussion at all. War, civil liberties, emerging science, demographic change, corporate power, natural resources. When was the last time you heard a legitimate debate about any of those issues? It's been a long time. Debates like that are not permitted in American media. Both political parties and their donors have reached consensus on what benefits them, and they actively collude to shut down any conversation about it. Suddenly, the United States looks very much like a one-party state. Stuff that you will never hear on CNN or BSDNC. And this is true. We've been saying this for a very long time. The same people who control our media also control both parties. George Carlin. 
Not only does he have a Broadway musical playing in his grave, not only is he dancing to it, he's got a rock concert happening there. He's got another freak Nick going on. He's got the whole shebang happening in his casket. And he's just saying, smiling back as he's lighting up a blunt, taking a shot of whiskey, looking back at us and saying, I told you so. It's one big club and you ain't in it. That's a depressing realization but it's not permanent. Our current orthodoxies won't last. They're brain dead. Nobody actually believes them. Hardly anyone's life is improved by them. This moment is too inherently ridiculous to continue, and so it won't. The people in charge know this. That's why they're hysterical and aggressive. They're afraid. They've given up persuasion. They're resorting to force. But it won't work. When honest people say what's true, calmly and without embarrassment, they become powerful. At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some. Uh, Tucker, uh, there is a uh, hard lens media, uh, revolutionary blackout network, the Jimmy door show convo couch. Uh, Russell Brand's show. Uh, oh, and uh, Joe Rogan. There you go. Just, just, just throwing it out there. And hey, how can I forget the best of the best, the new up and comers? Get any news? Indy left. Shout out to those guys too. That's right, Indy. I gave you a shout out too, buddy. You and your team, Colin, Reef, Lucy, all of them. Jesse, Jet, keep on speaking truth to power. Don't you back down ever. And oh, and do dissidents. If I missed anyone else, I'm so sorry. I could be here for days. Enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. See you soon. Exactly. All right. So Tucker's back. I told you he'd land on his feet. He'll be okay. But you know AOC, what, what she's going to probably do. She's going to be like, we need, we need stricter regulations. It's for the macro and the micro, the micro and the macro uh, on YouTube. We need to go all real harsh on social media. She's going to be on a super fast rush for censorship. She's going to be trying that. You'd be surprised how quick these politicians become the villain. That line from the Dark Knight is so true. It's either you die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. It's going to be a very interesting election year, especially leading up to 2024. Stay tuned to Hard Lens Media. It's going to be a lot of fun.